What's going on everyone? Juicebags here and welcome back to some Dungeon Defenders 2. We are making our way through Chaos 8 Mastery and going in no real particular order. Uh, of course, knocking off some of the easy targets first. This time around, we've got the Forest Crossroads and it doesn't get much easier than this one as no blockades, no nodes, no auras earn all stars and survive all waves. So pretty straightforward traps and towers only. So we're going to start things off by going with a... Let's get a Poison Dart Tower, and we'll throw an Earth Shatter just on each lane. I want to make sure to get uh, some good crowd control in every lane to make sure that we are uh, getting the job handled here. Uh, let's see, where was my Huntress? There we go. We'll go with uh, a Poison Dart Tower that way. Over here, we'll go with a Poison Dart Tower, say, that way, and then a... We'll get the Earth Shatter directly behind it. And then here in this lane, we'll just go Earth Shatter. And then the Poison Dart Tower in front. Uh, we've got 400 left. Now, um, you know, Archers are going to win the day here. So let's throw down a bunch of Archers. We want to put the Archers in a fashion so that they're double dipping and hitting multiple lanes at the same time. So let's go something like, we'll throw some archers across here. We've got enough for 10 archers here, so we'll do that. Uh, we can throw uh, a few archers over across this way, maybe. And then that's going to leave us enough for three more. And where do we want the three? Part of me wants to put them up here. You know what? Let's try it. Let's put uh, let's put some archers right like this. Uh, in fact, I think I can probably maybe get rid of one of these and put even another one up here. So let's get another archer right up here, and then that is it. Now I was gonna throw down some. You know what? I think I will actually. Let's get rid of two archers. Let's, see, let's get rid of this one, as it's going to have the biggest limited um, view there. And that's going to leave me 80 DU. And remember, the oil geyser is a trap. It is not an aura. So we're going to throw an oil geyser down with destructive pylon in it. Uh, we'll throw one over there, uh, one over here. Actually, that kind of, I, I've got leftovers, so I'm just going to throw one there. Uh, get Destructive Pylon on a lot of the stuff. Taking a look through my defenses. Uh, this is what I'm bringing for Archers, Double Tap, Mass Destruction, and Deadly Strikes. Uh, I did swap out the Double Stack of Destruction to get a little bit more range, as in Mastery we get scaled down. For the Earth Shatters, we've got Earth Toss, Destruction, Mass Destruction. Uh, on that Oil Geyser, just a Destructive Pylon. And then on the Poison Dart Tower... Making sure we've got pier uh, Piercer Servo on, and then Explosive Poison, Destruction, and Defense Rate. Now I'm going to be DPSing on my Nuke Monk, so just the regular old Nuke Monk build. And um, let's get it. Let's see, is there any other limitations? We can upgrade, we can repair. So I think we'll actually just go ahead and slap a few upgrades around, and then just let's just let it fly. This map should go relatively easy, even not having everything buffed. Uh, just having the destructive pylon on there does a ton of work. So uh, my goal here, of course, is to let Frostfire save the day. So Frostfire on every lane. Uh, remember that Mastery mode, when it was created, mods didn't exist yet. Mastery was never rebalanced with mods. So all of Mastery is pretty much a cakewalk with any mods whatsoever, as... All mods are just on top of what's already intended as the challenge for the maps. So uh, Chaos 8, of course, was designed after mods were a thing, and these are regular Chaos 8 mobs. However, any map that involves no... or, or any map that you're able to build towers, it's pretty much going to be GG's if you just throw down a little bit of crowd control with like a Petrify combo here and then any damaging tower. So I'm using the archers here for that. Now, obviously, if I was in a position where I could buff those, they would be even more over the top. 
But uh, yeah, we're just going to burn on through it here. I think this one should be pretty darn smooth sailing all the way through. Just going to let Frostfire do its thing. So Frostfire in all the lanes here and making sure we smash up all the bads. So uh, looking good. One mob left. Uh, what do we want to prioritize? I guess we can... We can upgrade the PDTs because they do put out a little bit of damage. So get a little damage going with those. Um, you know what? Let's just hit everything. Let's hit everything. Why not? We'll uh, upgrade all the stuff and things and um, just dump it all. And there we go. So let's let it fly here again. Uh, this one, some of the maps, of course, are going to be more challenging than the others. It's just kind of a natural fact about Dungeon Defenders 2. Uh, just because you're in a particular tier, all maps are not created equal. There is uh, not a whole lot of balance between the maps. And it's no different in mastery mode with the challenges. So some of the challenges you can do with your eyes closed while sleeping. Other challenges you're going to have to pay attention a little bit uh, as you're going through mastery. So this, of course, is without a doubt one of the easier ones. So spam the towers of your choice and call it good. Uh, mastery is all about shards. You know, as I mentioned, the mods were not a thing when Mastery originally rolled out. Uh, so when it scales you down, one thing it does not affect is any shards. So having the right shards is going to win the game um, pretty much in the entirety of Dungeon Defenders for the most part. Uh, with the exception of Super High Onslaught, mods are just a little bit of gravy on top. As it's just all about the shards, no doubt. So... Get your shards, win the game, and it is GG. So, pretty smooth sailing here. I'm just going to go ahead and jump forward to wave number 5, as I don't anticipate any major challenges here on this particular map. And here we go into wave number 5. So, as expected, there's no, um, no real difficulties at all. Um, just burning through them. Uh, kind of just throwing upgrades around relatively evenly. Um, not really paying much attention to them, to be honest. Just kind of throwing them out there. So, upgrades in place. Here comes wave 5. And uh, we got our Death Weaver making the way out. So... I'm pretty stoked that archers are in such a good way, or just towers in general. Uh, one thing that Dungeon Defenders 2 was heavily lacking was any real diversity uh, for many, many years. And uh, this last update, of course, gave us the viability of using towers in an in in-game situation. So that is just pretty awesome. So you can just use your favorite tower. If you set it up properly with shards and mods, it's going to be a viable source if it's something that you really want to use. So, good stuff there, no doubt. So, uh, excited to see what any other updates in the future may bring. We will have to wait and find out. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, get healed up a little bit. Why not? We got another assassin on the way here. That one got melted. Fantastic. And then we've got a Draken Lord coming. Uh, from way over yonder, we might as well go ahead and get our burning strikes going on that guy and make sure he's having a bad day as well. Doing pretty good. That, uh, that minecart mod that I'm using here, its effectiveness is debatable, but its coolness factor is definitely up there. So, uh, definitely A plus on that one, adding in uh, something with a little bit of a fun factor into DD2. Good stuff there for sure. Uh, let's continue to burn them down here. We got a Slakelion bringing up the rear, but it's way five, so it doesn't even matter that this guy is here. And uh, let's just smack him down. And there we go. So, completed a daily mission as well, so fantastic there. But that is... The Forest Crossroads in Chaos 8 Mastery Mode. So uh, there is our five stars for that one. Good stuff there. And that will do it for this episode. So thank you all so much for watching. And I will see you next time around. Take it easy.